The mother of the El Paso shooting suspect was worried about her son weeks ago. Last night we told you she even called Allen police about him. Yeah, so the question is, why didn't anyone do anything? Well, in just the past few hours, Jobin Panneker asked them about that call. Jobin, what did the police tell you? Well, they told me it was a 10 minute call. That call was answered by a public safety officer. Now, police say the mom did not give her name, did not give the Patrick Crucius name, only said that she was worried that a 21 year old could have a gun. We are all left to fill the gaps as we try to understand the tragedy in El Paso. This man, Patrick Crucius of Allen, is accused of killing 22 innocent people. Tonight, it is confirmed. Patrick's mother did call into Allen police on June 27th at 11.15 a.m., weeks before the shooting in El Paso. Police say she was worried about Patrick buying an AK-47 style gun. She felt like he was uh, not emotionally mature enough to own a weapon at age 21. It was a 10 minute call with a public safety officer. It is not recorded, but there is surveillance of the police end of that call. WFAA has put in a request to see that video. A team had to manually search for that call because the mother had called into administration. So at no time during the conversation did she indicate that any threat had been made uh, towards any other people. The caller did not identify herself nor her son. We pressed Sergeant John Felty on the scrutiny now on the police department, as many ask, what could have been done? We have nothing to cover up. You know, I, early on, I put out every contact that we had had uh, with Patrick, and everything that we had, I made it public information. This new development has also been turned over to the FBI, a small piece to what is still a very large and sad puzzle. In Allen, I'm Joe Panniker.